I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Hey, this is Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Um, I'm rolling with the Lions and my opponent is with the Redskins. And I played that clip from uh, They Live, uh, Roddy Piper, back old 80s movie. Um, I came here to chew bubblegum and kick ass because I in vain uh, immortalized that type of a character because he just shredded me. This is a very lopsided game. Um, I'm actually showing some old video footage. I'm actually going to do a breakdown of... Uh, in Bane's offense. So I think it's really worth uh, watching this video, watching how this guy shredded me apart. Uh, he put a lot of points up against me and I really struggled uh, initially um, on offense and when he had such a big lead on me it was really hard for me to come back. But uh, you know right here going into the second second quarter the score is tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, he was able to just tip me up the middle. Uh, Morris, Alfred Morris is a very good running back. He's able to get some, uh, some tough yards, breaks a lot of tackles. But um, in vain, actually had a really good offense in the sense that he would see what players you were playing against, and he was able to go ahead and pick this up. Right here, I was I was able to stop him. Uh, you know, anytime on defense you stop before someone to take a field goal, you win. And I was I was down just by three scores, but he gets this timely interception uh, going into the, the, the four minutes into the um, uh, second quarter, and then he comes right back, hits me with a little uh, a uh, stretch play. And then he he actually did play action off of his plays. Uh, he was able to go ahead and pick up another touchdown. So I was down by two scores, by 10 points. Kind of forced that ball, but he was able to get it in and score a touchdown. So, you know, when you're playing against an opponent that uh, has got a high-scoring offense, it's bad to make mistakes like that. And, man, I just gave the ball right back to him. I tried to hit him on a, a little a deep post route with a screen underneath on the opposite side. Uh, he came back around and uh, forced it right back to me. Say hello to my little friend. Aldamas actually picked the ball up. I was able to go ahead and get an interception. So got an opportunity, opportunity here. I was getting the ball back in the second half. So going to hit him with a little out route. I was able to hit him with some out routes. Came back, uh, figured he adjust out of that, and went with a slant. And got about 30 seconds left down here. And I came back to a corner route, but his defender fell right back into the zone. I was able to go ahead and pick me off. So there goes my opportunity to try to get down by a score. Or so he hits me right up top, hits me right over the middle. Uh, he's able to pick up big yards and distance right there. Then goes and, and actually threads the ball. Look at this! Look at this throw! Right, he just throws a dot right there, and then uh, he does a little inside uh, a zone uh, play, and then gets me with another touchdown. So down. 24-7 going into the second half. I hit a little uh, run right up the middle with Bush. He was able to pick up some pretty good yards. Come back around. I uh, hit a little crossing route with Burlington. That's just a, 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 a comeback and an inside route. And then with Bush, I was able to get the blocking up the middle. Uh, I, sealing the seam, I was able to go ahead and go uh, get a 14-point score there. So he hits me with Alfred Morris. Morris actually picks up a good, nice chunk of charges right there. And then he hits me with the... Uh, uh, speed option and I just took a wrong angle with my defender but he was able to pick up a good 20 yards on that and there's a cute little play he does a screen and instead of actually going ahead and throwing back to the backside screen he just takes off with RG3 so that was kind of a unique play that actually ran against me and then he hits me right up the middle so he had me defending um, each different you know uh, running to the right running to the left doing screens it was really really difficult to, to, def uh, to play against them so he had a little comeback route you know, I'm thinking right now, all I had to do is just get a score, get a stop, just get a, a score and a stop. Uh, thread the needle right there over the middle. With Pettigrew, was able to go ahead and pick up another first down. And right here, his defender actually blocks it. It's a fourth and 15. Uh, looks like his defender's back on yellows, and I'm unable to pick up the first down. So that's just as bad as another turnover. He gets the ball back, and he just starts shredding. He tips me right up top. Just with a little, it looks like a fade route. He was able to go ahead and pick up the program and then hits with a speed option on the other side and another touchdown. So now the score is 38 to 14. I can't stop in vain's offense. He's just throwing balls all over the place. Gets me with a sack. It's down. It's fourth and 18 right here. But I'm able to go ahead and hit uh, Megatron uh, on a post route, break a couple tackles, uh, able to go ahead and uh, get a first down right there. And then come back on a, on a screenplay with Bush and look at the blocking. 
He's able to go ahead and bushes so fast, he's going to get past most defenders. So, scores 38-21. I just need a stop. Just give me a stop. He rolls out with, with uh, RG3 and breaks a tackle here with Alpha Morris. Breaks another tackle. I miss a tackle. <laughs> just that quick. He goes up. 45 to 21. All I needed is a stop, and I just can't get a stop against this guy because he's just making all the right plays. He's hitting me on the right, he's hitting on the left. Uh, do a little corner out with Dunham. I'm able to go ahead and pick up the first down. And then right here, a thread and needle. And this is a great pass uh, by Stafford, who just wasn't throwing the balls as accurate as I really wanted to. And then another great pass right here by Stafford to go ahead and pick up another touchdown. So down 45 28, three minutes left on the clock. And he goes ahead and he just waits patiently in the uh, in the in the, uh, the backfield and throws it right over the top. Yeah, if you're watching that play, it's like I'm coming over and trying to defend and reading his guys, but he just goes right up top and patiently. And this play is just crazy. It's just you know sometimes when you're just playing against opponents, you're going to get away with stuff. And there's another play right there, another touchdown. So 52 to 28. I just can't stop this guy in off uh, on offense. It's a little out and up. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the first down on that. Then a little out route with Pettigrew, uh, Pettigrew to pick up another first down. And uh, I actually beat a defender. It looks like he was in man coverage. I was able to beat him and get a touchdown. So 35-52, just looking for a stop. Hits me with a whip route off of one of the plays I'm going to break down in his offense. Uh, and he's just breaking tackles. He actually says, I'm not going to score right here. I'm just going to go ahead and take the tackle. He's sort of working the clock down to get it down to about eight seconds left. And he just wings it up in the corner. Look at this play right here. My defender's nowhere to be found. He gets another touchdown. Score ends up being 58-35. to 35. He just shredded me on offense. Just every time he got the offense outside of one mistake, he kept on scoring. So what I'm going to do for my subscribers, I'm going to go ahead and do a complete breakdown of this guy's offense. You can always learn from your opponents. If you like this kind of content, hit that, uh, hit that uh, little flaming hand uh, to subscribe in the upper right-hand corner. Thanks a lot. Thanks to my subscribers for watching.